Okay, so I have to talk about something because apparently people have been a little um, fearing that I'm obsessed with Chris Maloney. Hmm. I wouldn't say obsessed because I don't spend my entire day, entire day, entire, entire day thinking of him. But last night as I was playing Xbox Live with some friends of mine from my gay gamer group, I mentioned about Chris Maloney because I wanted to play a game with some people and I didn't know if they had room for me to play with them. And we were playing Rainbow Six Las Vegas, which is a shooting game and I love to shoot people with guns in game form, not in real form. And I said to them that if they didn't invite me, it was okay. If they did not have room, because it was 10 o'clock and they might not have room around that time. And that if they didn't, I would masturbate furiously to the thought of Chris Maloney in a Rainbow Six Las Vegas outfit. Which, I will say for the record, I have never masturbated furiously or not furiously to the thought of Chris Maloney naked. Or doing anything to me. Thought about it, but I never really did that because that's not my style. I don't do that. And I got into the room and, you know, they invited me anyway. And they were like, well, I think, you know, your Chris Maloney obsession is a little too much. And I said, not really. And one of the other guys who's new said to me that he has seen Chris Maloney many times in person. And I said, how have you seen him many times in person? He's like, well, they film Law & Order SVU across from my apartment. Now, why everyone would possibly be, I don't know, try to become friends with that person just to get into their apartment, just to have the chance to see Chris Maloney, I don't think like that. I don't think normal things like that. I thought of murdering him taking over his life. Before you're shocked, which I'm sure some of you are actually not shocked because most of you are probably like, well, that makes sense for you because that's how you think, which is true. I did apologize to him for wanting to murder him and take over his life just for the chance to see Chris Maloney instead of exploiting our friendship. He laughed and said it was okay. What's sad is I don't think he realized how serious I was. How the entire fam f plan formulated in my head in a mere moments. Mere moments. I was one step closer to Chris Maloney. Then I was reminded of a Dr. Phil episode where um, some girl was obsessed with Jay-Z. And she was quite psychotic and sent him emails every day. I've only made two videos, many mentions of him at least once a day and see him every day on screen. So it's kind of like we're dating. Just he doesn't speak to me back. So it's in an abusive relationship that I'm okay with having. And I realized that maybe if he ever saw these, he would probably get a restraining order against me. There's no need, Chris. I won't stalk you and I'm fine with you married to your wife and you're, you know, having kids and everything. And I would love to one day have you yell at me, push me against the wall and whisper something mean and sweet in my ear. And make me instantly want to fall over out of pure joy and excitement. And it would probably be better than any orgasm I could ever have in my entire life. But there's no need. Because I do realize now, like I once told my friend, my friend told me when she wanted to meet Dave Matthews. It could never happen. It just can't happen. Because if I met Chris Maloney, the world would come to an end. And the conversation probably would never happen. On his side. Here's what a conversation between us might look like. Hey Chris, how are you? It's me. Sean? You know, Sean. Your biggest fan ever? No, 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 no. Please don't run. There's no reason to run. Please do not run away. I'm just here to tell you how much I love you and I love your work and I think you're great and I just think you're just fantastic and I actually live across the street from where you tape. No! There, there's no reason to call 911. I'm actually, I, I'm moving tomorrow. I swear. 
So, so I'm gonna go now. I just wanted to tell you that. I mean... Bye. I, I'll watch you on television still. So you know I'll always be watching you. Bye. So yeah, it'd be bad. So we're not gonna do that anymore. Or ever again. So I was talking to someone online last night for my gay gamer group, and they said I look 40. I mean, okay, yeah, I have these. I have severe insomnia. I can't tell you how bad my insomnia is. I can't sleep most of the time. And so I'm like 26 bags under my eyes. That's the only thing about myself, barring some poundage. Wait, not the other type. Anyway, um, I just really don't like the bags under my eyes. But 40? Not that it's bad being 40 or anything, because it's not, but... I don't think I look 40. Okay, whatever. Um, I've discovered some really cool people on YouTube lately, and I've added a lot of subscriptions, and some people have added subscriptions to me, so thank you. I have never thanked any of my subscribers, because I am an ass. So, um, thank you. I love every one of you. Not as much as certain wily detectives who solve sex crimes, but I do care for you. And I try to comment on everyone's videos that I um, subscribe to to let them know I do watch them. I do watch every single one of them. Sometimes I just have nothing to say at all. So... I think that's my life right now. Yeah, so... I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later. Bye.